And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring you this cool little video that talks about the flip merge that has arisen recently. Well, not recently, this is kind of old news, but it might be new news to you and I wanted to put a statement into it because it has, it does have some implications to it. It does have some implications to it. So little background, a lot of ship builders, glitch builders, as you may like to use this thing called the flip glitch or variation glitch. And it was patched on August 20th, August 20th. And yes, uh, the shipbuilding community was a little bit in an uproar. Um, maybe a little too much, I, I admit. But at the same time to me, when that happened, I thought, well, it didn't matter because there were creations in the creation kit that people created that allows any other shipbuilder to create beyond their wildest dreams in Starfield. But... Um, but something did happen on, uh, was it September 30th with the release of Shattered Space. They also released a patch that brought back the flip glitch as the flip merge, as you see here. But as I say here, the flip merge arises, but why didn't they just do this? A question, a question. And just a little background, we, I wanted to show you, all right, I wanted to show you what they did. So let's go ahead and go, um, let's go in game. Let's go in game for a little bit. So I'm in settings and under controls, what they did to bring back the flip merge as, or flip glitch as a flip merge, an actual functional piece in the game. They have this option here to turn it off or on. All right, and this is what it does. This is what it does. We're gonna go into the game here. I'm currently using the Dark Star ship building Console if you haven't checked out this creation in the creation club created by an awesome creator that allows people to create More things in the ship builder and beyond It's awesome. Check it out. So let's go in here. We're gonna build some enhanced ships or creative ships So the flip glitch flip merge what it essentially did was allow you to move pieces Into a spot that where it could be technically legal. So like if I wanted to move here, right? All I would do is flip once flip twice or a variation cancel the movement and it's in there, all right? It's locked in. Or another form that was used, like I would do, like, with, like get it to a, like a place that's already occupied. This is a, I call this the flip glitch in an already occupied spot. Flip once, but twice, cancel the movement, double click the rest of the ship, hit space bar, it moves the ship to that item, hit enter, and that item is now connected, all right? So that is the flip glitch slash flip merge, or I should, I should call it the flip merge now, in a nutshell. It pretty much allowed, um, creative ship builders to merge pieces creating different looks in a means that um that you would usually wouldn't be able to and it accomplishes ma mainly like up to 80 to 90 percent of what you need to do all right there's some other glitches out there duplication glitch drop down glitch and something that i called fractional glitches that um, existed to help build unique ships creative ships all right so that's, that's that, that's that. And that's where it was under settings, controls, and under, underneath here. So let's talk about this. Let's bring out presentation mode. Here we go. Presentation, that's not it. Wait, what, what do I wanna do? Presentate, there, there it is, there it is. Let's talk about it. Flip glitch. The flip glitch has risen and become the all powerful and mighty flip merge. Certain implications here. And let's go forward, let's go forward. Here's the big thing, here's the big thing. Bethesda, they didn't need to do it. That's the thing. They could have said, hey, I mean, we took it away, but you can achieve everything that you want to do through a creation that was created by creators in the creation club to allow you to create beyond your wildest dreams in the ship builder. They didn't need to do it. All they had to do is send people to the creation club. And that's it. Hands down. That's all they needed to do. Here's the thing. Did you see that? Did you see, okay. There's some implications here. What does this imply? There's a question, does this? It implies that the ship building community is important. There is no, like there, yeah, that's it. Woo, <laughs> it does confirm. It does confirm that, all right? Big implication. I said confirm, and I, I, I say imply, confirm, imply. Okay, big implication. It implies that the shipbuilding community is important. Two, glitches in shipbuilding have 
zero, or I, I put no impact, or zero to little impact. I should say that, to, just to clarify. And looking, I, and seeing this when working in the um, creation kit, right? Essentially, everything that puts, to sh puts a ship together is, is pretty much a text file filled with coordinate points on it. Like, part coordinates, po part coordinates, that's it. It's, a, it's pretty much an Excel sheet, right? That has a list of parts and where they, where it, where it's, where it's at. Like the, it almost feels like snapping pieces together in the ship builder doesn't really matter. Just have something that says this, this, this. I mean, the ship builder just tells you legal or not legal in the concept of what the ship builder does at that time. All right, the rules that are applied to that ship builder. The ship builder in the creation kit operates differently. So there's a little bit of different rules there. You could, you could almost say. But the fact is, is that it confirms that glitches into shipbuilding have no impact, especially when it comes to merging pieces together. Now I did, I did come up to a point where the game did crash when I merged like two different halves together, trying to boost different stats. And, but essentially when I walk in there, it like basically says, oh, this is something doesn't feel right, crash. That's the only time, like something that was internally, that happened when I walked in something internally inside a ship, but everything externally, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Literally no impact. What's the other part? Does this validate the other building glitches? Like the the drop down glitch, the duplication and glitch, the fractional glitches. And my answer is yes. Yes, it does. I put a bullet point just for that. Yes, it does. All right. Because here's the thing, right? We've gone through this part. And I, I even said like, you know what? These guys, these are like, um, these are glitches. These are glitches. I mean, we've, I, I, like there, there's a time I had these debates with other people and they said, you shouldn't call it glitches anymore, Jeremy. It should just be a different name. You shouldn't call it glitches because glitches like mean this, that, this and that. And I said, well, I mean, I think that's what they are. If people say that's a glitch, I mean, that's a very fair thing. It is a glitch. It's, I, I, I view it as a glitch. But now, here it is. When we have defined something as now, the flip merge as a functionality that you could turn on in your settings, that changes things. That changes the vocabulary now. That says the duplication glitch, probably a duplication merge. The drop down glitch, drop down merge. Fractional glitches, fractional merges. Yes, yes, it does. Absolutely. It has, that's the big implication there too. Now my vocabulary has changed. All right, Mo my vocabulary has changed. But here's the thing. I mean, that's this part of the title that we've kind of looked at, um, that we looked at, and I, and I put the why. Here's the why. But why didn't they just have a scaler for snap tolerance? That's the big thing. That was the workaround. Like for all the creations and the creation club that creators created to allow other shipbuilders to create beyond their wildest dreams, they're creating a creation that allows you to change the snap tolerance in shipbuilding, meaning that you could just slide anything to a snap point, merged, merged or not, and it'll be a valid snap. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. This is what we're looking at here, all right? This is what we're looking at. We have, like, look, you have the slider right above it. I'll post fly cam starting distance. What if this was just the, the snap tolerance? like slider right here. You could change right there. Here's the thing. There is a creation in the creation club that a creator created to allow people to do this in their settings. If you download it, you have that option to slide the tolerance in the settings. That's what I think should have done. Because here's the thing. If you're a new player or you're just getting into shipbuilding for the first time and you say, oh, what's this? Shipbuilder allow flip merge? Okay, on. All right. What do I, do to, what do I need to do to flip merge? Wait, what? I need to flip, flip, cancel, and it's in there. That's a very clunky methodology. <laughs> it's like, I'd rather just slide it in, right? And it's legal. And you can do that by like lowering the, the ship tolerance. A ship, snap, snap ship, ship, whatever, ship snapping, snapping ship, whatever it's called, the, the tolerance, lowering the tolerance. And just, it's, it's already in there. This is what most, this is what pretty much most builders are doing right now, right? The only people 
that are not doing this are people that do not want to download a creation at this time, which is fair. It's fair too. So the ship merge might be great for you, but the reality is it should have just been, it really should have just been a slider to lower tolerance. That's it. That's it. Cause yeah, I mean, I, here, I put it, I put it in the, here you go, here you go. What? Wrong button, wrong button. There. Cause here it is. Flip merge is a clunky process. Make it easy for new and veteran shipbuilders. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to say. That is my big... What was it? <laughs> I was like, that was my big reasoning for this. But why didn't they just do this? It should have just been that. Make it easy. Like, it's a clunky process. Like, all right. You now have the opportunity. Like, they make it easier to do the duplication glitch. Like, well... That's kind of a weird process. <laughs> that's a clunky process. Just, yeah, if, if, if that's the intention, and if you're moving that route, merges are now legitimate, validated, then just create a slider for the, for the, um, for the snap tolerance. There you go. That's my spiel for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And a lot of things are going on. I'm working on creating those and setting up those learn streams. I think those are going to be fun. I might build, have some build streams. And then, I mean, of course, playing the game too. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's all the schedule's up in the air. But we're going to have fun. That's all it's about. If you have any questions, please let me know, guys. And, of course, if you want to look for a glitch guide or something, well, that's, that's wrong, but... We have a glitch guide in the, in the description as well if you want to go what the glitch guide is now or sort of not now i didn't make something that includes the ship merge or the, the now flip merge flip merge available but anyway guys have yourselves an, an amazing day we will see you all next time peace out and sending on hearts as well without you we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing so thank you thank you thank you see you again real soon guys peace